Hi, I'm Kyan. Welcome to Map in the World Around Us. Today, let's talk about large numbers. For example, how many things did you do in the last 24 hours? I did a lot. I slept, got up, ate breakfast, washed up, went to school, did a bunch of stuff at school, left school. Okay, let's just say that I did about 100 things in the last 24 hours. That's a lot, right? 100 is a large number. Hardly. Excuse me? I may be just a teeny tiny microscopic organism called a bacteria, but I can do such a large number of things in 24 hours, you can't even imagine it. Oh yeah? Try me. Game on. Prepare your mind to be blown. To start, we bacteria reproduce by dividing ourselves in half, which we do about mm, every 15 to 20 minutes. Then, after about 30 minutes, those two of me will divide into two each. So now, there are four of me. And so on, and so on, and so on. Until, just guess how many bacteria there would be after eight hours. That many. Fortunately, it's easy to read and say large numbers like that if you use a place value chart, like this one. So that's 4,294,967,296 bacteria. Wow. There probably won't be exactly that number of bacteria, just about that number. A lot of times, scientists will round off a number with zeros because they don't know, and they don't need to know, the exact number. Correct which gets to about how many me's there would be after 24 hours. Are you ready? Yeah, you see all those zeros? That's 80 octillion, as in eight with 28 zeros after it. Actually, mathematicians have a much shorter way of writing down numbers with lots of zeros. They write the number 10 and then write a raised number after it that tells how many zeros there are. This is called the power of 10. So, those 80 octillion bacteria can be written as 8 times 10 to the power of 28. This can come in handy when you want to count any kind of large numbers of things, like all the hairs on your head, or even all the stars in the sky. And remember, math is all around us, if you just know where to look. Mm -hmm.